Okay, this is the second video in the series on trigon trigonometry. Um, and it's dealing with the relationship of right angle triangles, their sides and their angles. And it's very commonly called Sokatoa. So I'm going to write that up on the board. Um, it's so ka toa Okay. What that means is, is this is the sine of an angle, the cosine of an angle, and the tangent of an angle. And it looks at a right angle triangle whether the relationship is between the opposite and the hypotenuse, or the adjacent hypotenuse, or the opposite and the adjacent. Um, what I mean by that is, let's say we have a right angle triangle. Now, this particular relationship will only work with right angle triangles. There are slightly different variations of this for dealing with other different types of triangles. Um, it's a very useful uh, part of maths. It's used quite a lot in construction. So let's say, for instance, that we're building the roof of a house and the distance along here is 10 metres. And I think it's called the pitch, but the pitch of the roof is 40 degrees. I might be completely wrong there, but if you know any different, please add a comment. But this is the roof. Okay, like that. And I want to know, as the builder, I want to know the loft height. Well, using Sokotoa, I'm able to work that out. So the information I have available to me is 40 degrees there, and 10, degree, uh, 10 meters there, and the fact it is a right angle. Okay. Now, with all of these types of questions, the important thing is, is to make sure that you label the right angle triangle correctly. What I mean by that is that the 40 degree angle that we're going to be working with, well, this height here is called the opposite. This length along here, which is adjacent to the 40 degrees, is called the adjacent. And the long length is called the hypotenuse, which is H Y E hypotenuse. Okay, so the 40 degrees here we know, and 10 meters here that we know. So if we look at these relationships, um, the information that we're trying to get is this the opposite. Well, it means that we would either use the sine or the tangent, because both the sine and the tangent have the opposite bit within them, which means that we'd be able to calculate. However, only the sine has got the hypotenuse, which is there. So in this particular um, question, I'm going to start using this relationship, which is the sine rule. So the sine of 40 degrees equals the opposite over the hypotenuse, which is this relationship. So if I now put in some numbers, I've got sine 40 degrees equals opposite, which I don't know, it's the bit I'm trying to find. So opposite divided by the hypotenuse, which is 10, 10 meters. Okay. So if you look at uh, some of the other videos, you'll see that when you have a relationship like this, using a little bit of algebraic manipulation, it means we can isolate the opposite to one side and the calculation to the other. So what I'm going to do with this relationship is I'm going to multiply both sides by 10. Now, if I multiply both sides by 10, it means that the division of 10 and the multiplication of 10 will cancel themselves out. So on this side, I'm going to be left with the opposite, which is the information that I'm looking for. And on the other side, I've got 10 times the sine of 40 degrees. OK, now I can use, I can get uh, that information from a calculator. And providing I key in the numbers correctly, I should get, and I'm going to have to refer to my notes here, but I should get 
Um, four two eight seven. Four two eight seven. I think that's correct. Yep, four two seven eight seven. Okay, four two seven eight seven. And it goes on a little bit as well. Okay. Now the thing to look at is that if that information is six point four, let's say six point four to one decimal place, is six point four meters as a value of the opposite realistic or reasonable? And if we look at the diagram, well, yes, it probably is, because if this distance along here is 10 metres, then it seems fairly reasonable that this distance along here will actually be 6.4 metres. OK, so I think when you're using these sorts of relationships, it's always a good idea to refer back to the original question and make sure that you've got a reasonable answer at uh, 6.4 metres in this particular case. Um, I hope that's been useful to you. Please do um, comment, add a comment to the bottom of the video. Uh, I will try very hard to respond. Um, you can also post, pin, tweet um, and you can visit matsrap.co.uk for a lot more information. There's also a downloadable worksheet on this particular uh, type of maths. Um, or you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and I look forward to seeing you inside the next video.